from one success story in urban Honolulu to another. Hawaii isn't the first place most people think of when they think of breakdancing, but the 808 Breakers are looking to change that. The B-Boy crew based on Oahu is garnering international respect, winning battles all across the globe, and sharing the aloha spirit one jam at a time. What's up? I'm B-Boy Ark, also known as Jeff Wong. I'm born and raised here from Hawaii. I've now kind of become the senior uh, leader, organizer, master to the madness for the 808 Breakers. 808 Breakers in the house! The crew started in 2005. It was founded by two people, Justice from LA Breakers, as well as another b-boy named Low Rock. His name's Loretto. The second generation of the 808 Breakers was very small and it consisted of a guy uh, named B-Boy Solid. And this individual put myself and a number of us in the third generation of 808 Breakers down. Solid was an incredible leader. He was an incredible speaker and he managed to get us sponsored by local television circuit shows. He also got us to travel for our very first time in 2010 to New York. He was the person who incepted our crew as an official business, as an LLC. So 808 Breakers is the only breakdancing crew in Hawaii that is formerly incorporated. Myself, I've had a relatively successful career in California, the Bay Area, being a recognized teacher internationally by the B-Boy Dojo in Finland. Uh, as a crew, we've competed a number of times in international competitions such as Freestyle Session, Style Elements Anniversary, Radical Force Anniversary in Singapore, and IBE, which is the international breaking event in the Netherlands, and made it past the preliminaries to top four to top eight uh, in pools of 300 plus competitors. We've won Style Elements Anniversary, that was our biggest international win. And locally, we've won our fair share of competitions and we've been recognized competitively in the Red Bull circuit as evident by all of the things that Jack has done, winning Red Bull BC, won Boston's regional cipher and making it to the semifinals of the national cipher as well as being featured in the world final Red Bull BC1 2021 that was held in Poland. My name is Jack Robineau, and I go by B-Boy High Jack. Earliest memories that I have of dancing would be in the third grade. My older brother had uh, spent a night at Kaimiki Park, which is located on Wailai, and he actually learned how to dance from some homeless people at the park, uh, known as The Jam. And he came home when I was a kid, taught me some stuff like simple waves and, and isolations and stuff and been fascinated with that ever since third grade. The first time that I've ever stepped foot into a cypher was the Frenemies event. It was 2009, if I remember correct, growing up watching Beat Street, growing up watching Break In, and we're, we're pretty familiar with who Rocksteady Crew was and when we heard that people like Crazy Legs and Why Not would be coming out to Hawaii, we were just so stoked to go out there. My older brother drove, it was held at the Waipahu Philcom Center. And first time I've ever stepped foot into the cypher, I remember I didn't even break. 
went out, did my thing, super nervous, worried about what other people were thinking of me. And, you know, after I got out there, I seen Skillroy go in, also pop in. And it was just such an inspiring moment and memory that I definitely cherish forever. Oh man, Skillroy hands down is the Hawaii legend in my book. He is the style god, the style master. Uh, it's timeless. Definitely one of the first to really like make a statement. I know he got down with Rock Steady Crew. Rock Steady Crew, co coming from New York, they were the first to actually get the media. They were the first to get access and and exposure. The Rock Steady Crew had come down, and hearing stories about it that this. Uh, phenomenal crew came down and battled other people like Style Len, I think Uncle Leonard was also in there. It was just amazing to hear that people who lived on the same island, you know, were, were put down in this crew and it was like superstars. When anybody thinks of Hawaii, breaking is probably the last thing that they imagine it has a scene for. And for that reason, it is so important and so amazing for us to have received the recognition, the support, and the love that we've gotten so far. On a broad level, the vision and also the, the mission of our crew, the 808 Breakers, is to simply spread joy and perpetuate this dance form called breaking in the islands of Hawaii. In the process, yes, we represent abroad. Yes, we show what a competitive, savvy breaker can do from Hawaii without traveling or moving anywhere else into the states or around the world, um, we represent and show what a local b-boy or b-girl can accomplish while still supporting their local community, being a part of their local community, and teaching and supporting other kids who may just be beginning their journey. I remember all the competitions I lost. <laughs> I felt like I learned I've, I've grown a lot more from the ones that I've lost, but the ones that I've won, the most recent one that I can think of that's definitely been life-changing would be the Red Bull BC1 Boston 2021. Red Bull BC1 Boston, and that was just a game changer for me. You know, after that came a opportunity to represent in the national finals, and after leaving such a big mark there came uh, the opportunity to be sponsored as a Red Bull ambassador and be flown out, you know, and just live the dream. Currently, I'm going for breaking in the Olympics, in the 2024 Paris Olympics. And for this year, 2022, they had a bunch of qualifier events held by a organization called Breaking for Gold. 2022 was just a trial year just to see how everything goes with scheduling as well as how they organize everything. Whereas 2023 is gonna be, you know, it's full on, it's a one-on-one -on -one competition. They're only taking one representative in the States, which is kind of cutthroat, but you know, we just, we just keep pushing. amazing thing with hip-hop culture is there's always a breaking community or a hip-hop community. It could be big, it could be the smallest. Breaking has taken me to the Philippines, Singapore, France, Poland, um, soon to be Belgium, Korea, Japan, everywhere. It's a beautiful, beautiful experience and, and really grateful for everything. We've been in places where we could not speak the same language, but we were able to speak through movements, through dancing, and just made, you know, even made best friends from, from just movement and, and culture. We've gotten word from a lot of visitors who aren't from Hawaii and just saying like, man, Hawaii is such a beautiful, welcoming environment. In most cases, a lot of areas are very clicky. They're in their own groups. They don't really like to share. And honestly, all of this kind of 
is something that we hope to perpetuate as we have students, as we welcome those students into our crew, as we recognize other crews locally through the events that we throw and connect them to a global dance culture. We hope that we can allow this art form to not just survive, but flourish and be a recognizable activity that is marked by Hawaii's individuality as a place. I connected with AOA Breakers from Jack, my teacher. I've been taking classes with him for a very long time and like we just been leveling up. Crazy, I never knew I could do this. Like it's the best thing in the whole wide world, just like traveling around with the, my best friends and stuff. It's just amazing. Like dancing, like going against like people from like different countries and it's just mental. <laughs> As Kanaka Maoli, as a native Hawaiian, I did not fit into a lot of the stereotypes that were presented to me growing up. I don't surf. I, I did a little bit of hula, but I fell out of it, and I don't do a lot of sports. And I am confident that there are youth and adults alike who are searching for a voice. I found mine in this dance, in this culture called hip hop. I love breaking, I love the culture, I love hip hop, but more importantly, I love my crewmates because they're special. It's the fact that we treat each other more than just b-boys. Uh, being part of 808 is not about skill, it's about just the love that you show for each other and the craft. We are truly a family. Oh my gosh, the 808 Breakers, in one word, is a family. We don't care too much about skill, we don't care too much about the things that would make something temporary. We, we care more about the human being as a whole, who you are, can we build with you, can we vibe with you. Our crew, the 808 Breakers, is all about brotherhood. I think if you take away the accolades, the competitive success, commercial success, the performances, even the students, uh, at the end of the day, we are a group of friends that love this art form called breaking. We love this culture called hip hop and we love each other. Break dancing for me is a escape. Every time I'm like mad or I'm sad or I'm just like really stressed out, I can use break dancing as an escape to uh, channel all of my emotions and just put it into the dance. I break to find freedom. I break to find and defy what the human body can do and what the mind can push itself to create. And I break because I love music and I love being able to combine the movements and the music together. And that's what keeps me moving. We're putting Hawaii on the map, guys. We really are. We're pushing forward, not just through hijack, being with Red Bull, uh, not just with, with going out and representing, but we are literally, I feel like we're the embodiment of like the Aloha spirit. And every single place that we travel to, people feel our presence. And I think that speaks to something larger than just our crew. It speaks to something that Hawaii has to give to the world.